Well, a big hello to you all. Thank you for joining us today for our maths extravaganza. We are so excited. So before we start, I'm just going to get us to introduce ourselves. So my name's Fiona and um, I'm really excited about sharing some activities with you today. I've got some friends with me as well who are going to introduce themselves. Hello Fiona, yes thank you. My name's Ben. I'm very excited to do some maths with you this afternoon and so impressed that some of you have already started to put some potential answers into the chat. So if you do want to um, say anything during the session, just pop it in the chat like you have been doing. Lots of people think there's three triangles so far, Fiona, just to let you know. Okay, great. And we've also and got... Hi everyone, my name's Matt. I work for WIS Education as well. Um, it's lovely to see you, especially my school's on here as well. Welcome and do, as Ben said, get involved in the chat, join in, give your answers and have fun. Great, thank you. So we did send out a handout before the session today, just in case some of you wanted to actually join in the activities whilst we're, we're doing them during our extravaganza. However, we are, it will also work if you just want to sit and watch and just join in the chat and then you can have a go at some of these activities afterwards. So we've got about half an hour and we're going to start now. You've already put, started to put things in the chat. It'd be really nice to know which schools you're from. So if you want to add that into the chat, we'd love to see which schools are represented today. So welcome everyone. Now, whilst we have been waiting for you all to join, we had a little puzzle up for you to do. And as Ben said, some of you've started to put some of the answers into the chat. So we've got a very big triangle in front of you that you're looking at the screen. And our puzzle is how many triangles can you count? So Ben, have you been having a go at this whilst we've been waiting? Um, yes, I've had a, well, well, I've been trying to take the advice from, um, the children and the different schools that are on the chat to start off with and my initial thought was six because I can see six well yeah I started counting them up um, and I did get to six at one point but I, I definitely need to check it what do you think okay. um, Fiona what have you seen well I do you know what I, I'm going to get my highlighter out because I Good think idea. if you're doing something like this it's very easy to lose count so I thought if I use a highlighter at least then I'll be able to see which ones I've already counted and hopefully keep track so if I start and then maybe you guys can help me in the chat oh I thought I've got a highlighter there maybe I have but it's at a different angle right so first of all excuse me that's a really funny triangle that I'm drawing here so that's one triangle and do you know what I'm even going to keep a tally by the side just so I don't lose count so that's one and then I can see another one going down here so that is two and then I can see there's another one going all the way down here so there we have got three so I'm going to keep my tally so that's three so far do you know what I'm going to change the color of my pen because I don't want to lose track and I think the colors could all mingle into each other so some people said three and I think I've already found three so I don't think the answer is going to be three let's have another go so let's do some more so I can see one the other side now so there we go so that makes it four and then I'm gonna go it's the same as the other side isn't it there what I can go. what I can see happening Fiona here is yeah. that some, some children are changing their answers which is brilliant because they ah. see starting to see the process that you're going through so we've now got a few children saying six one child has said seven which is an interesting okay idea. right well let's so i've got to five so far and then i'm just going to finish this one here if i go all the way down across and then back up that makes six now can we see some more let's well, that's, that's okay. it isn't it fiona that's it surely you know what there is at least one more because what i haven't included is the actual big triangle Oh, uh, contained within. Oh, right. so there, there's definitely seven. Can you spot any more? Oh, gosh. We've got some big counting on. Some people are going 12. Right. So 
So that's seven. And now within there, I can join those two to make eight. Wow, yes. And then I've got another one. This one here makes nine. Now, are there any more? Well, do you know what? I'm going to leave that for you guys to try and work out yourselves because we have a puzzle sheet that comes out after this session and you can then explore just to see if we've got them all or if there are any more. So I'm going to leave that one with you and I'm going to go on to a different activity, but we're still looking at shape. So let's, let's go to our new activity. So here I've got, you can see on the screen, I've got a piece of paper and I've got one actually, if you can see me, you can see here, I've got the same piece of paper here. Now, there's some folds on that piece of paper. And what I want you to work out for me is the shape I've got here is a, let's see it in the chat. What shape have I got here? I'll let you know. Coming in. And we're gonna fold it to make a different shape. So what shape have we got here in front of us? It's an A4 sheet of paper actually. So that might give you a really big clue. So if you look at, if you look at Fiona, Fiona on the screen, what shape does she start with? got four sides they're not all yeah. the same no though so two two are equal and the other two are equal that's so it we've got we've got a rectangle well done absolutely so Brilliant. this is a rectangle and i'm going to fold it just how it shows you on the screen i'm just going to put a little tiny crease in and then i'm going to fold it this way because I want you to tell me what I have made now. So what have I got now? Any idea? So it was this, but I've done some careful folding to make it this shape. So we've got a couple of suggestions. I think they've spotted that it's still four-sided, but now it looks like those sides are all the same length. So yes, we've got some correct answers here. It's a square, yeah. is that right, Fiona? It is absolutely right. I've made it into a square. So that was an A4 sheet of paper that I folded to make a square. Now, I've got another sheet of paper here. It's slightly smaller. Same shape. So we've got a rectangle here. So it's, a, it's the rectangle. But it's slightly smaller. I wonder if you could tell me how much smaller it is. If I compare it, I don't know if you can see any ideas. It's actually called A5. So this was A4 and this is called A5. But I wonder if we compare the A4 with the A5, what, what size would we compare it? We've got, oh. we've, got, we've got a child that's absolutely flying here. She's, <laughs> she's suggesting that it is yeah. half. Half, yeah. Half You're the absolutely size. right. So I've got another piece here. Can you see where this is going? And if I compare it with the red piece of paper, what we're we seeing, can you see it's half again? And this is called A6. Now, if I compare this sheet with my first blue rectangle that I have, what would that be then? That's not half, is it? So it was a half of a half, wasn't it? Half of a half, yep. Yeah. Oh, well done. We've got a quarter. Fantastic. So let me click on because to do this challenge, you do need a sheet of A4, a sheet of A5 and a sheet of A6. And you have to fold each of them into a square. Now, I've already been busy doing this, so I'm going to get some that I've already made. And we're now going to do an activity with these. Now, this is really nice to do if you're with a group or if you're with a class, because there's lots of different scope of how you can take this. So let's have a quick look. Now, to do this and to do these patterns that we're going to make, there are two rules that we're going to follow. And I'm going to show you a broken rule. OK, so this rule you can't do that. So what do you think the rule might be? Remember, I've got three, three shapes, but that breaks the rule. Or I'll give you another clue. 
that breaks the rule. So what do you think the rule might be? I think we need to give them a little bit of time to have a think here. Yeah. So um, remember, is... three shapes, that's breaking the rule. And if I, I could do, I could do that actually, that's breaking the rule. What do you think mm. the rule is? Can you, can you show me one where you haven't broken the rule? Where I haven't broken the rule, okay. There we go. So we've got, oh, we, we, we've got a suggestion here. We're putting it in order of size. Mm, okay. It's tricky. Why don't you, why don't you um, see whether you can stick to the rules, but maybe it not be in the order of size? Or, mm, I don't know. There we go. That, that's right, isn't it? That's fine. Yeah, that's still within the rules. Be a rule breaker again, Fiona. I rule think. breaker again, <laughs> Watch what I'm doing. Oh, rule breaker. There we go. Well, I'm very aware of time. So do you know what? I think I might might just tell you this rule. The rule, oh dear, just drawing over everything. Sorry about that. So the rule is you must be able to see each part of each shape. So you must be able to see part of it. Okay, whereas here, I've hidden it, so that's why I'm breaking it. Here, even if it's only a little tiny bit, that is still fine because I can still see part of the shape. So that's one rule. The other rule is I'm breaking the rule now. Right. So I can see all of the shapes. Sorry, say again. I can see all of the shapes there, which is okay for rule number one. But yeah. You're breaking rule number two. So what could rule number two? Be. So this is within the rules. This is breaking the rule. Is it something to do with where you where you put? It should not go out of the blue. Well done. Yes. Yeah. So your largest shape, the rest of the shapes must be within that largest shape. Must be within its perimeter. It's a nice mathematical language there. So the idea is then you all have your three different sized shapes. And you then make different patterns with them. And if you do this as a class or a group, you can all keep coming up with different patterns and then you can put them together for a display. And it's called a patchwork where lots of different pieces of, of paper, or people used to do it with material to make quilts and things, but where you're putting it all together then to make a big design. But it's really good fun. It makes, it makes some really nice displays. Uh, but it's also good just trying to but trying to work out all the different ways you could possibly arrange them. Now, you don't just have to do it with squares, you could do it with triangles, you could do it with rectangles, you could do it with any shape. So it's good fun. You've got to be able to make the shapes or cut them out. But yeah, good fun to, uh, to try and explore all the different, different ways you can do that. And once again, that's in our hands out. So have fun with that. You can choose different colours. It's, um, yeah, very... Very appealing to have it on a display somewhere, either in your school or maybe on the wardrobe in your in your house or whatever. Do you think if so, every if right. every if every child did that in a classroom, then you'd make a really large piece of artwork, which would look really really appealing? We would. Right now, we've done some work on shape. I want to get some number work going now. So Matt, I'm gonna sorry Ben, I mean sorry, I'm gonna stop okay. sharing my screen and I'm going to hand over to you because I think you've got a rather exciting game to show us. Yes, it's one of my favourites. Right, so let's uh, share my screen now. What game we're going to play now is called Strike It Out. It's not bowling, it's a mass game, which is, which is going to be good fun. It's going to take a lot of thought. So I'm going to play, Fiona, are you up for playing this with me? Oh, I'd love to, yep. Brilliant. I have decided that I'm going to be team yellow this time. Oh, okay. Had a, um, so pick a colour for your team. Um, I'm going to be blue. Cool. So we'll, we'll play it for a little while and, and we'll get the children to think about what they may think the rules of the game are um, and then we'll show them what the rules are and, and we'll, we'll have another go at playing. So um, let me go for
Okay. Okay, so I hope you're watching carefully because for me to start, watch what I'm doing. So, and I think I'm going to, okay, so I've struck out 11. I've struck out number two, and then I circled number 13. Okay, right, so we've had some suggestions on the chat, which is really, really good, and they've helped both of us there with the calculation, which is very helpful. Um, both of these calculations have been adding, but I will say that it also involves sub subtraction as well. Um, we're going to go on to the next, we're going to actually show you the rules now, but that's got you to start to think. So, player A does a calculation by using the numbers 0 to 20. They cross off the numbers, just as I did, and they circle the answer. So, um, just as I did, I crossed off my numbers, I'm going to go for some different numbers now, 2 and 5, and I'm going to put it down here, 2 plus five. Now, interestingly, they're thinking that we are having to use an odd and an even number each time. Oh, is that just coincidence? It's a, it's a very good spot. Yeah. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've chosen two numbers. It doesn't actually matter whether they're odd or even. I've added them on this occasion and the answer is seven. So I've circled the answer now. It does get harder, trust me. So I've circled the answer. Fiona, you must start your calculation with that answer. So strike out my answer seven. I'm striking it out. Okay. So seven is the first number in your calculation. And I'm gonna take away this time. Good thinking. And I'm going to take away, I'm going to take away another odd number just so we don't get confused, yeah? So I'm going to take away three and that equals four and I'm going to circle the four, there you go. Right, good, thank you for your answers. Now. Remember, first rule is I must start with the number four. Okay, I must start with the number four. So four, and I'm actually gonna go, does anyone have any ideas for something I could add to number four? Um, oh, no, Yep. Oh, thank you. Some, yeah, somebody said three, but actually three it, you can't use because it's already been striked through. So we can't actually use three anymore. It's gone. So once, once it's been struck out, you cannot use it anymore. So I'm starting with four. Remember, I've got all of, there we go. That's a nice suggestion. Thank you. So I'm going to go for four and ten. which makes 14, thank you. So I'm gonna circle 14, because that's my answer. And now Fiona must start her calculation with the number 14. So right. what, could, hmm. what could Fiona subtract from, well. What, add, what, what are the things, do I add or subtract with what's left? What could I do? Someone's saying add six, that's a nice one. Okay, I'll do that. Add six and that equals 20. So let's do that. So strike out that circle 20. Okay. Okay, brilliant. 
So we could do that one, couldn't we? Because you did have six available. So 14 plus six is all, all the way up to 20. So now I would start my calculation with 20 again, because that was the answer from Fiona's. Now I've only got one choice of, of operation here. It's either add or subtract. I think definitely subtract. So what could we do? Thank you very much. So we've got a suggestion of one. 20 subtract one is, thank you. So I'm gonna circle 19. Okay, I think, I think we're starting to get it now. Would you like to play for real? In our teams. In our teams. Okay. So, so how do we win then? Ben, how, how well, the, so the way the aim of the game is to eventually if i can't go so if you force it so i i can't do a calculation um then then you win right okay so at the moment i could still do one so i could do 19 take away 8 equals 11 so we still got yeah okay yeah so right. the aim of the game is to try and force the other person to not be able to go Right, so I want you to choose a team now. My team is going to be yellow and Fiona's team. What, what colour were you again, Fiona? Blue? I'm blue, yeah. Okay, so decide, all of you children, what, let me know what team you're going to be on. I want to know who my yellows are. So I wonder, does it matter whether you start first or not? And I'm also thinking, do I start with lower numbers or higher numbers first? I'm trying to trap you. I don't know what's going to be best. I hope we've got a lot of yellow team. No, blue team that are going to help me. Yes, well, you, 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 oh, seem yeah. to have, you seem to have six or seven on your team, and I've just got the one player at the moment. But that's fine. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I, right. I, I don't know whether I've still the much confidence in, uh, in the children. <laughs> I think that's where we've gone wrong. Um, so what were you saying, Fiona? Who should start first? Does that make yeah, a difference? Yeah, would it make a difference? I don't know. Hmm. I, I think um, because B is earlier, it seems like you've got most of, uh, most of the extravaganza with you here, Fiona. Maybe you should go first. I should go first. Okay, Blues, we're going first. So Blues, what calculation are we going for? Let's get it in the chat then, please. I want to know what am I striking out? First, are we going lower numbers or higher numbers? What have we got? Three plus seven equals 10, okay. Are you a blue? I hope you're a blue. So yes, that, 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 I don't that want anyone blue. being crafty, I've, right. I've made a note of um, my team. I've got a Okay, couple. so I'm gonna go three, and I'm gonna write the three, Add seven equals 10. This is our first move. I hope you are writing that decision, right? Okay. Okay, so I'll do the first bit, Team Yellow. So I'll, I'll do the first bit and say we have to start with 10. So, so some of you are starting with 12 or five. Remember, we have to start with the answer. Don't forget that. So we must start with 10. Thank you. I've got one suggestion. Any other Yellow team suggest? Make this suggestion starting with 10. It could be addition or subtraction. And we've got the numbers here that haven't been struck out. To... It looks like your 10 takeaway too, Ben. It's sticking. <laughs> oh. Right, blue team, I hope you're starting to work through where we're going next. Come on, let's get some, some things in the chat. Where's so 10 need... takeaway two, there's your answer. Blue team, you must start with an eight. Okay. What have we got? I'm feeling more confident about my yellow team now. Less is oh, more. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, can't, I have to start with eight. Remember, Blues, I have to start with eight. So I've got someone saying eight plus four. Maybe we go a bit higher. Maybe we should be going down near the 20s. What could we do? Eight plus one equals nine. Okay, so I'm going to start writing the eight anyway, and I'll start Remember, remember you... You have to start with the with the answer from the previous one. So the first number must be an eight. There we go. You've got the last use ten. Someone said ten, but I can't use ten because it's already been struck out. So I'm going to go for I'm going to go for 
Ooh, eight plus 16, would that work? Remember, we can only go as high as 20. Oh, we've only got 20. Eight plus six, I've just seen, equals 14. Okay, so let's strike out the six and let's circle 14. Right, okay, over to you, Ben. Right, Team Yellow. What number must we start with? Well done. So we've got some good suggestions there. Starting with 14, we've got 14 plus one as a suggestion. Any other suggestions? We cannot start with 10, we must start with 14. 14 minus five. I quite like that. 14 plus five. Someone's just yeah. said eight is crossed out. How can you pick it again? It, it is. It was because we've just crossed it out. That's the reason. So, yes. um, right. So I'm going to go for that one that was equals nine. Fourteen minus five. I can definitely use five. Okay. And that makes nine, which is sandwiched there in the middle. Thank you. Fourteen minus nine. Suggestion. Right. Come on, Blues. Where are we going then? So we're going to have to start with nine. Fiona, I get the impression that a lot of your blue team have jumped over to my team now. It must be. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I'll do this one on my own then. So I'm going to go nine. And I'm going to put add six. Can't do six already. I'm whether, wondering whether to add 11. We've got add four. Oh, add four. OK, I could change that into a four. That would work. OK, we'll do that then. I'm going to go with it. So add four. So Strike out the four. Yeah, we've got and 13 now, there is the suggestion. Yeah, well done. Okay, thank you. Right, come on there, the yellows. We're on this. So we must start with 13, remember? So 13. Must start with 13. Oh. Yes, I, we're kind of limited here, aren't we? Because all of the smaller numbers are gone. So 13 minus one <laughs> <laughs> equals 12. Right, okay, so blue team, I think we may have a bit of a challenge on our hands because if I strike out the 12 and write 12 there. I've got no lower numbers, smaller numbers that I can use here. So if I used 11, if I do 12, take away 11, can't do it. If I add, it takes me beyond 20. We've got a suggestion here of 12 plus five equals 17, which is fine, but... The main problem being five has already gone. Oh, there's another good one. What about 12 add zero? The only problem is that makes 12 and 12 I've already just struck out. So I can't do that. Blue. Do you know what? Well done, Yellows. You have just won. Well done. Blue team, commis commiseration, I'm afraid. Yellows were victorious there. Well done, Yellows. Um, yeah, 12 plus... 12 plus zero is 12, but 12 has already been used. So you can see there, um, we had a lot of these larger numbers left over. So these smaller numbers seemed quite valuable there really, mm. don't, didn't they? So maybe, um, maybe if we were to play that again, you would maybe think of a way of using the higher numbers. Yeah, there's quite a good challenge actually coming next Ben, isn't there? Mm, absolutely. So. Um, I think the, the blue team are just keep getting over the sadness of maybe not being victorious. <laughs> um, let's, let's recover, we'll be fine. So the next challenge is something that you can maybe take away with you, because we're just coming to the end of time. Is that right, Fiona? We have about a minute left, so absolutely. Yes. So this is something that you can do in your classes. Is it possible to do this and create a string of number sentences and use all of the numbers from one to 20. So as you can see there, we didn't use 
we didn't use all of the numbers. We actually had all these left over. Could you come up with all of those number mm. sentences so that every single number on that number line of zero to 20 was struck off? OK, so that's a real challenge to be able to think really carefully about the calculations you're going to use to get all of those numbers. And I, and I suppose you could do that with a partner still, but you're working together rather than working against each other, aren't you? It's not all about competition, is it, Fiona? No. Maybe we can have a go at this together after this. OK, look forward that's to a good it. Good idea. Right. OK, thank you very much. So I'll, I'll let you finish off Fiona. Okay so as I said throughout this session we've got a puzzle sheet that's going to be sent out to you straight after this session and it's got all of the activities that we've been doing today with a few extra challenges in there as well for you to have a go at whether you're doing it on your own at home or whether you're doing it in class so hopefully you're going to have lots of fun in the next few weeks trying out some of these challenges we've shared with you today so thank you so much for joining us and we hope to see you all soon. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs>